patience. Greetings. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters. Whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing Let perseverance finish its work So that you may be mature and complete Not lacking anything If any of you lacks wisdom You should ask God Who gives generously to all without fire James 1, 1 through 5 But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt Because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea Blown and tossed by the wind That person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Such a person is double-minded and unstable in all they do. Believers in humble circumstances ought to take pride in their high position, but the rich should take pride in their humiliation since they will pass away like a wildflower for the sun rises with scorching heat and withers the plant its blossom falls and its beauty is destroyed in the same way the rich will fade away even while they go about their business James 1, 6 through 11 Blessed is the one who perseveres under trials Because having stood the test That person will receive the crown of life That the Lord has promised to those who love Him Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. He chose to give us birth through the word of truth. That we might be a kind of first fruits of all he created. James 1.
Next says James 1, 19 through 27. Let's see. Fingers are starting to hurt already. <laughs> Not a good sign. My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Therefore, get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is so prevalent and humbly accept the word planted in you, which can save. It's like someone who looks at his face in a mirror after looking at himself goes, aw uh, goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. But whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it, not forgetting. My brothers and sisters, believers in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ, must not show favoritism. Suppose a man comes into your meeting wearing a gold ring and fine clothes, a poor man in filthy old clothes. Also comes in. If you show special attention to the man wearing fine clothes and say, Here's a good seat for you, but say to the poor man, You stand there or sit on the floor by my feet. Have you not discriminated among yourselves? Become judges with evil thoughts. Listen, my dear brothers and sisters, has God not chosen those who are poor in the eyes of the world to be rich in faith and to inherit the kingdom he promised those who love him but you have dishonored the poor is it not the rich who are exploiting you are they not the ones who are dragging you into court are they not the ones who are blaspheming the noble name of him to whom you belong? 
since Deborah probably sang it. Probably sang it. Judges 5, 24 through 27. Most blessed of women be jail. The wife of Heber the Kenite. Most blessed of ten dwelling women. He asked for water and she gave him milk in a bowl fit for nobles. She brought him curdled milk. Her hand reached for the ten peg. Her right hand for the workman's hammer. She struck Cicero and she crushed his head. She shattered and pierced his temple. At her feet he sank. He fell there he lay. At her feet he sank. He fell where he sank. There he fell. Dead. Matthew 6, 28 through 30. Why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the fields, how they grow, they neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not a red like one of these, but if God so clothes the grass of the Today is alive and tomorrow is thrown into the oven. Will he not much more clothe you, O oh, you of little faith? Psalm 67, 1 through 7. May God be merciful and bless us. May his face strive with favor upon us. Say love. Oh, sorry, that's not right. Say love. May your ways be known throughout the earth. Your saving power among people everywhere. May the nations praise you, O oh God. Yes, may all the nations praise you. May the nations praise you, O oh God. Yes, may all the nations praise you. How glad the nations will be singing for joy because you govern them with justice and direct the actions of the whole world. Say love. Psalm 119. I'm going to try to do all of it. I memorized this in 2018 by writing songs for each of the stanzas of eight verses. So 1 through 8 is Aleph. Blessed are those whose ways are blameless, who walk according to the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his statutes and seek him with all their heart. They do no wrong, but follow His ways. You have laid down precepts that are to be fully obeyed. Oh, that my ways were steadfast in obeying Your decrees. 
then I would not be put to shame when I consider all your commands. I will praise you with an upright heart as I learn your righteous laws. I will obey your decrees. Do not utterly forsake me. Psalm 119, Aleph 1 through 8. 119, 9 through 16, Bet. How can a young person stay on the path of purity by living according to your word? I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Praise be to you, Lord. Teach me your decrees. With my lips, I recount all the laws that come from your mouth. I rejoice in following your statutes. As one rejoices in great riches, I meditate on your precepts and consider your ways. I delight in your decrees. I will not neglect your word. Psalm 119, bed 9 through 16. I'll let that give them all alone. 119, 17 through 24. Be good to your servant while I live that I may obey your word. Open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your law. I am a stranger on earth. Do not hide your commands from me. My soul is consumed with longing for your laws at all times. You rebuke the arrogant who are accursed, those who stray from your commands. Remove from me their scorn and contempt, for I keep your statutes. Though rulers sit together and slander me, your servant will meditate on your decrees. Your statutes are my delight, they are my counselors. Psalm 119, Gimel 17-24 I'll bet Gimel Dalit, 25 through 32. I am laid low in the dust. Preserve my life according to your word. I gave an account of my ways and you answered me. Teach me your decrees. Cause me to understand the way of your precepts that I may meditate on your wonderful deeds.